Hey guys, and welcome to a new episode of Now Showing with John and Cam. And today we're bringing you one of our news flash episodes where we're going to go over all the latest news and not just horror, but pretty much all pop culture in general. So in these episodes, we're just going to give you a quick headli- couple quick headlines, our thoughts on them, and uh, in the comments, make sure you guys leave us your response to these news articles and if you have any breaking news for us as well. And before we get started, as always, please like and subscribe, share this video if you enjoy, and let's get started. Our first first news article is going to come from the comic book realm, and that's going to be a new Joker one-shot comic or graphic novel um, that came out. It's about 34 pages long, and for all you horror fans out there as well, it was written by John Carpenter himself. And uh, I'm going to turn this one over to John. He's going to give you a little bit of information and fun facts on this new one-shot, which basically means, if and correct me if I'm wrong, John, sort of a one-off story of the Joker. Yeah. It's not going to be a continuing series. Yeah, DC's doing um, what they're calling Year of the Villain, um, and this just happens to be the Joker. Um, and like Cam said, this is with John Carpenter doing some of the writing. If you guys didn't realize, John Carpenter has done other comic books. This isn't like something crazy like, oh my god, I can't believe he's doing this. Um, he did a comic book called um, Asylum, and then he also did, um, uh, what was it called? It was called um, something Terror on Halloween, something to do with like hmm. the Halloween um, holiday. But um, I'm kind of excited. I used to read comics a lot more, uh, but right now I haven't really, I kind of got away from it. But this one is kind of pulling me back because... I mean, John Carpenter, and then you have one of the most iconic uh, supervillains with the Joker. I mean, you can't go wrong there. Um, and I was looking at some of the things, and they, they're pulling some references from some other old comics that I did love. Um, like 1990, or 1988, I should say, The Death in the Family, where if you guys have never read it, uh, that is where the second Robin gets killed by the Joker. He gets beat by a crowbar. It's one of the most iconic. And if you don't realize who that um, Robin is, that's Jason Todd. He does end up coming back as the Red Hood. Um, they did a few nods to that, which uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen right now, you'll see I, I have a comparison of the two. And I just thought they do, they're doing a lot of that. They pulled some of the humor and made the Joker a little more of a twisted um, type. Instead of being like your typical like comedic comic, this is more of a dark, twisted sense of humor. Hmm. Um, whenever he beats Jason Todd, um, he says, you're scared. I have to walk back out of the woods by myself. <laughs> um, he also gives a little more graphic um, on some of the other jokes that I'm not going to get into um, for this channel. Uh, well, at least for this video. But I'm extremely excited for this comic book. Awesome. So, yeah, that's. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people out there that are excited for that I mean even because it has John Carpenter attached to it and I didn't know about his previous history in the comic book realm that has me uh, intrigued as well so the next bit of news or should I say big news comes for all of us PlayStation fans out there yeah. and that is that Sony has announced officially we've all sort of assumed it was coming but we didn't we were waiting for that actual announcement but they have announced finally that PlayStation 5 is indeed on its way and it'll be here next holiday season, which we would all assume means November or December of 2020. So what does that mean? Well, there are a lot of features they've started to discuss. I'm just going to touch on a few of them. I won't go into a lot of detail as well as far as the specs and all of that. But one of the things they that Sony's announced we can all expect is much fewer load times uh the average they gave for a load time is about 15 seconds they said with the playstation 5 we should be cutting that to 0.8 seconds per load time uh yeah i think that's something that we can all be excited about um the new controllers maybe they haven't officially given them a name but we can assume the dualshock 5 at least that would be my guess is supposed to have adaptive or haptic feedback um, which basically means that whatever you're playing, if you're playing a driving game and you're driving on a muddy terrain, or if you're playing something where you're running on snow or ice, the rumbling in the controller is supposed to adapt to that and make it feel extremely realistic for whatever terrain you are on. That's or when cool. you're firing guns, the, the how heavy the gun is, you're supposed to really feel it in the controller. Also, the PlayStation 5 will support 8K resolution. Now, 
I wouldn't get 8K. too yeah I wouldn't get too too excited about this yet I think there's a lot more explaining they have to do because even though 8k technology is out there and for all of you who are panicking right now saying wait I just bought a 4k TV yeah unfortunately 8k TVs are starting to roll out the the ones you're seeing right now aren't gonna look like a major difference on the 4k but there are some high-tech ones on the way but I don't expect us to see a lot of that in 2020. So I really don't think when they say 8K resolution that there's going to be this huge change. I think we're still going to be dealing a lot more with 4K graphics. Yeah. I think they're just saying that it's going to have the capability to run it when the time comes. And another big uh, part of exciting news, you know, one of the downfalls with PS4 is that you could not play 4K movies on it. Yeah. Xbox did have that edge. Um, and as an avid 4K collector, as John is as well, that kind of stinks, right? But no worries, because the PlayStation 5 will be able to fully play your 4K movies and digital downloads as well. So um, that's just some of the features that have been announced. Uh, you can certainly search online and see a lot more in detail if you want into the specs, RAM, all those things. Um, they started releasing that content. The only thing that we really don't know about is price, but I've checked with plenty of different sources and it seems like the number floating around out there is that the PlayStation 5 will cost $500 upon release, which would be $100 more than what the PS4 cost, but I guess that's ex expected in this yeah. day and age. Uh, do you have any comments on the PS5, John? The only comment I have is the fact that the load time is going to be that fast. Because if anyone has played Skyrim, you know the pain of load time. Just imagine how much better that game will well will be. Because I mean, yeah, I would expect the new ones probably going to yeah. be next gen as well. Because I know it's as far as we know not coming in the next year or two. So yeah. that will be insane. Um, absolutely. All right. So then let's. Jump into our next batch of news. Um, in just a quick bit of news, uh, something that we saw uh, just recently, HBO is currently uh, going to start developing. Uh, for those of you who remember the old school sci-fi horror hit, Maniac Cop, cult hit I should say, they're actually going to be developing that into a television series. Uh, the director who made uh, the movie Drive is going to be behind the series. He's going to be helming it. Um, any quick thoughts on that? I mean, Maniac Cop was never one of my favorites. It was more of a quick watch when I was little, but I think it will certainly be interesting as a series. Yeah, I definitely. I mean, I remember it. I wasn't the biggest fan of it either, but it is pretty interesting to see what they do with it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I always love the tagline, you have the right to remain silent forever. Forever. So, I mean, yeah. It's, it's, it's on my uh, watch list, something yeah. to kind of see how it goes. But and it's HBO, so yeah. no holds barred, I would True. think, you know. So. All right, and our last bit of news for this episode for all of you Michael Myers fans like myself, um, the next installment in the Halloween series, of course, as we all know, will be releasing next October, and it is called Halloween Kills. It's part of a brand new trilogy with the final chapter uh, coming in 2021. Well, there's been news spilling out left and right about this sequel, Halloween Kills. Of course, we know Jamie Lee Curtis is back as well as the rest of the supporting cast. Well, there was actually a leak in some behind-the-scenes footage which uh, confirmed what one of the theories going around is that we were going to get a lot of flashback sequences yeah. where they were going to take uh, sequences that happened back in the original timeline of the 70s. Uh, and this behind-the-scenes footage, we're not going to show it on here just because most people that have been posting it on YouTube, those videos have been getting taken down. So yeah. if you want to find it, I'm sure you could still find it out there. But basically, this footage shows... Uh, a flashback scene in Hattonfield where little Lonnie, which for those of you who may have trouble remembering, Lonnie was a very small character in the original Halloween. He was a little boy that was kind of like a little bully in town. And he has that one small scene where he's going to walk up. He's dared to knock on the Myers house and Dr. Loomis says, Lonnie, get the hell away from there and scares him away. Well, in this scene, Lonnie is going up towards the Myers house and Michael Myers himself comes out something completely different from the original film and starts walking towards him and he runs away screaming. It's definitely creepy footage and I think it's really cool to know yeah. we're going to get some flashback sequences and I wonder what they're going to change or adapt from what originally you know happened on that night. Uh, any quick thoughts on that? No, I'm, just, I'm excited for it. Yeah. I was really pleased with what they did with the... Uh 
Absolutely. Reboot, remake, whatever you want to call it. They did a good job, so I'm interested to see where they kind of take this. Absolutely. Me too, and I'm sure we're going to have a lot more news with that along the way. Um, that will be coming out next October, so everyone, you know, stay tuned for news on that. But guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. That was a news flash for you from now showing. Stay tuned for a lot more episodes where we'll come to you with the latest news. And stay tuned for all of our upcoming countdowns and other uh, videos that are on the way. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, leave us some comments. And you've been watching Now Showing with John and Cam. We'll catch you next time.